Wow. Found this item late in the day on a Saturday. It caught my eye, but after noticing it was broken, I put it down and went after a couple other items that were there. The elderly lady who was running the sale picked it up and asked me if I knew what it was. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, unexpected bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that hopefully you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And what exactly am I talking about? I invited members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group to share their best April bolo item to be on the lookout for, item they bought cheap and flipped for a profit. So we're going to get started here with the first one. And this, I probably wouldn't have looked twice at it. Uh, I don't sell tons of clothes anymore. Accessories, easy to ship, easy to find. You can usually pick them up cheap. So good to know about this. This is called TTW2. Have you ever heard of it? Tilly and Durables hat. It's got little ear flaps. All right. She said, first, Courtney, I want to thank you for letting me share my bolo and all the information you share on your videos. I have learned so much from your channel and your Facebook group. I found this hat at the Goodwill Bins. I know nothing about hats. See, she picked it up on a whim at the Goodwill Bins. Why? Because the Goodwill Bins is usually cheap. It's by weight. You pay by the pound. A hat probably had less than a dollar in this. She said, on occasion, I will pick up a ball cap or something familiar to me. I saw this hat and immediately thought of my son. Maybe he would like it. So she was really thinking, maybe I'll get this for her. She was going to get it for her kid. As, um, as it is, he was not interested. So I looked it up. I, it was listed for maybe two months before selling during an eBay sale of $38.25 plus shipping. Cost of goods that day was about $2 an item. So what she does is she takes her total items, divides it out probably by her total purchases to come up with the $2. I'm guessing by weight, this probably was less than a dollar. So really good flip of a dollar into $38.25 in the buyer paid shipping. Kites to Make and Fly by David Pelham. Don't overlook the dollar section at your local library. Got this large kite making instruction book for less than a dollar. It was in poor condition. It sold for full asking price. Red rule, red ruler reseller. Check it out. How to make kites. And how to fly it. <laughs> All right. Tips on flying a kite. Who knew? All right. The next one here. Dress the population Sydney gown size medium new with tags. Okay, so these look like all stock photos and I get it. It looks so much better on the model, but please be careful. I'm not really sure um, what the rules are on Poshmark for that, but I personally stay away from stock photos. Uh, on eBay, you would want to do something like this for sure. Again, you guys let me know down in the comments. Has anybody ever gotten in trouble for stock photos on Poshmark? I think that it really depends on the company. Certain companies are stricter. So anyway, let me know. Looks like this is new with tags. She said, dress the population, Sydney gown, found it at a liquidation store similar to Nordstrom Rack, paid 30 Paid up, but knew it would pay off after research. Sold for 175 full asking price in less than two weeks. The three vests. That is a beautiful, beautiful dress. And, you know, it just goes to show if you know what you're buying, then you go for it, right? 30 bucks into 175 is a fantastic profit. This one here, Lisa Frank's super stationary, new old stock, over 350 pieces, stickers, tattoos, and pencil pouch. She said, my eBay store name is Jolly's Fashion Emporium, and my mom bought this for a penny years ago from Dollar General, and she gave this Lisa Frank unopened set to my granddaughters for Christmas and told me to wrap it along with some other toys. As soon as I saw it, I told her, mom, I'm keeping it and putting it on eBay. She said, okay. I finally listed it maybe a couple of months ago and I kept bringing down price. Then it sold for $45.74. I'll show more pictures and comments. So I'm going to show you the other pictures. 
So funny. So her mom wanted to gift it. And she's like, oh, no, you're not going to gift it. I'm going to sell this. <laughs> so this is not the super, super old one, um, but it's old enough to be a bolo. So she still got $45 for it. So that's fabulous. What a fun story. Uh, Walt Disney World. And if you guys have any fun stories like that, put it in the comments or go over and share your best May Bolo and any fun stories, add them into the, the comment. And you guys, if you have social media, YouTube, um, if you're on whatnot, if you sell on multiple platforms, be sure to shout yourself out in the comments and I'll share it in this video. Okay. Walt Disney World, Cinderella Castle, Snow Globe, a dream is a wish your heart makes. I have another item I got from Goodwill. I was getting a little disappointed that day at, that day, everything was either too high or just not finding anything. But I came across this Disney snow globe for $4. I snatched it up, kept doing research because others were priced way lower. But different types of globe priced it high a few months back, been lowering it, and finally sold for $105.74. I couldn't believe it. She said her kids were shocked by the sale. My eBay na store name is Jolly's fashion emporium and I'll put other pics. Okay. So here's the, she just put extra pictures in the comments for you guys to see uh, in the Facebook group. So it looks like it's uh Disney parks. All right. The next one are these shoes paid 13 for these vintage uh, rare seventies converse, the winter sneakers on November 10th sold for $1,150 on the fifth. It went internationally to Italy. Buyer was all in for $1,418. Woo! Paid $13 and sold for $1,150. Get out of town. And they were, where were they at? Does it say where she got it? It doesn't. But she paid $13 for them. Wow. Wonder if it was a thrift store or the bins or a garage sale. Can you believe it? Incredible. Oh, look, she even found the Sears ad. That is cool. Good for her. That is a fun, fun thing. Okay, let's go on to the next one. This is the same seller. Paid a dollar for this vintage rare MC Escher long sleeve on February 23rd. Sold for full price of $140 on the 7th. And it is Illusion Artwork Long Sleeve Tee, extra large. Look at that. Huh. Well, that is a very interesting shirt. I definitely probably would have picked that up. That's super cool. I'm thinking my husband would have probably wore that. <laughs> he probably would have said, that's pretty interesting. He likes to wear weird things sometimes. All right, let's go on to the next one. Zara double-breasted textured blazer, extra large, paid $16. Uh, for this new with tag Zara blazer at TJ Maxx on January 1st, blogger favorite, blogger favorites sell well. And for me, sell well. And for me, more than retail. Sold for $148 with $2 and two cent discount. Had priced at $165. So she got it at TJ Maxx. There it is. It's a blazer. Let's see. And it was new with tags. So yeah, you can pick up some deals at TJ Maxx. And if you find the right thing, I used to flip clothes all the time. That was my thing. All I did was clothing. But then I switched to hard goods. And now I'm selling tons of jewelry on whatnot. That's my thing. So if you guys aren't following me on whatnot, I'd love for you to check out that referral link down below. You can use it to join whatnot and get $15 to shop. Come hang out with me over there. I do things auction style. Everything starts at $5 or less when I do my jewelry untanglings and um, they're super fun. So I dump the jewelry out and we go through it together and I grab and sell style. So it's kind of like uh, an untangling show. So even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. I'd love to see you guys there. So follow me, Bolo Buddies on whatnot. And if you're a brand new user and have never joined, you can get that $15 to shop with my referral link. So definitely use that. Um, and if you want to learn how to sell on whatnot, I've got a couple uh, tutorials because you guys asked me to make them and I made them for you. And um, I'm glad I did because so many of you have reached out to me and said that they have helped you. 
but definitely watch other sellers because you can learn so much from other sellers. Good things to do and some things maybe not to do as well. So uh, use good judgment. All right. The next one here is this Sony PlayStation 2 PS2 Need for Speed Underground 2 video game, new and sealed. Paid a dollar for sealed Need for Speed game, March 7th. Sold for 60 full price on Mercari. This one even had a tear on the seal. So if you guys, um, you can see here, this is one person who has sold two items in this video on eBay, one on Poshmark and one on Mercari. I definitely, definitely believe in getting your items on more than one platform. I use List Perfectly to do this. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to the other platforms. I have a tutorial that shows you how to use List Perfectly down below. Um, I cross post directly from eBay to the other platforms, but I highly recommend using the catalog if you're not. Um, th in the video, I show you how to do both. So check that out. If you have if you decide you want to try List Perfectly, you can use coupon referral code BOLO Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. And yes, I have referrals and affiliates down in the description. Other things that I haven't talked about in this video, definitely check those out. Those are things I use for my business. Yes, I do get a commission or I get money to shop. Those help me keep the channel going. So I appreciate when you guys check them out and use them. So um, they're all linked down below. So let me know if you have any questions. Most of the items I use, I have tutorials on because I want you guys to see how to use the product before you decide to use it. You know, uh, I'm one of those people that I really want to know how something works before I use it. Whoops. All right, let's go on to the next one. Klim, Klim, K-L-I-M. I'm not sure how to say that. Scotch Light. Condura 3M Reflective Padded Motorcycle Riding Rider Pants, 38R. Okay. She said, I bought these motorcycle riding pants at a thrift store and I that I volunteer at for $10. I don't do the pricing. Had them listed for five days for $200. Took a best offer of $150. All right. There you go. Check them out. So she gets to see this stuff when it comes in. That's nice. All right. Bought this tin canister set at an online estate auction, paid around 15 for a whole shelf of kitchen items. So I have pennies in this canister set. Had it listed for less than a month for $99. Sent out an offer for $89 and they sold and the buyer paid shipping. How cute are those? Do you think uh, those are artisan made or was this like a line? Huh. How fun is that? Those are cute wonder if they're old or just made to look old. I'm really not sure on that one. Let me know if you guys know in the comments. Skechers Viper Court Pro Pickleball Shoes. Pickleball shoes? I've never heard of a pickleball shoe. Uh, size 10 and a half, extra wide men's arch fit. What is pickleball anyway? This was sold by Piece of Scrap. If you're not following her, definitely check her out on YouTube and on Instagram. And she is also on eBay and I believe Poshmark as Piece of Scrap. I think she's also on Mercari. Paid $12 at a thrift store, accepted best offer of 60, shipped within days of listing. And what did she say? 60, best offer. And those look to be in a very nice condition. So tell me, when you guys sell shoes, do you clean them? Do you clean the bottoms? Do you put them in the washing machine? What do you guys do to get your shoes prepared to sell? And what do you do if you get them home and they stink? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. This one also comes from Piece of Scrap. It is, and it's funny because both of these are kind of, well, the shoes are an accessory and this is a hard good. And I always say she's really good at selling clothing. So you'll learn a lot of clothing items to resell from her YouTube channel. So check that out. Chubby Snowman Christmas Holiday Inflatable Six Foot Lighted Air Blown Decoration. She said bought five different inflatables at an indoor sale for $5 total. One sold within one day of listing on eBay for 65 shipped. Yes, these are definitely a bolo. If you can get the right ones, some go for hundreds of dollars. Uh, certain brands, Jimmy, G-E-M-M-Y is a good brand. I've actually done a video on inflatables, but it was a long time ago. But you guys can check it out and then kind of do your research from there to see if the items are still bolos. All right, the next item 
Oh my goodness. Get out of here. Wow. Found this item late in the day on a Saturday. It caught my eye, but after noticing it was broken, I put it down and went after a couple other items that were there. The elderly lady who was running the sale picked it up and asked me if I knew what it was. She proceeded to tell me that it was an inkwell from the Georgia Bank and Trust from the early 1900s. It would have sat on a table in the lobby for patrons to use as they filled out their deposit slips. I was certainly intrigued, especially when she told me I could have it for $2. After getting home and going through the various treasures my wife and I got, I came to this gym. I ran a picture search on eBay and Google. Uh, the only thing I could find was an article written in 2014 of an antique collector who had seen one of these at a friend's house and the search to find one for himself. At best, I can gather these were only produced to sit on a banker's desk or in the lobby of the standalone bank in downtown Augusta, Georgia, making it truly rare and unique. Only the bankers would have owned it. I could find no comps, none, not anywhere, even worth point. So I put a $1,500 buy it now price on it, described all the issues I could and took as many pictures as I thought necessary. I immediately got an offer for 900 from an antique seller of these types of items. I let the offer count down and pass. Today he offered and I accepted a thousand. I'll be watching his store to see what he puts it up for. I'm sure he'll probably be able to restore it to some of its original glory. I still can't believe that so many people passed by it at the yard sale from Friday morning to about noon on Saturday when I was there. Oh my goodness. So if I were in this situation... I would have started this at an auction for $1,500. <laughs> and I'm just basing that on what he started his uh, buy it now price at. Because if you are not 100% sure and you can't find anything like it, always, always, always go with the auction because you just never know. But I am also very, very curious um, what the buyer is going to list this for. So uh, if you're watching, and you happen to find out uh, maybe their store name or whatever, if they list it, let me know. I am so like, I just want to know what they're going to sell it for. It seems like a very, very collectible item. Yeah, I see the crack. Yeah, so it has some issues, but man, oh man, what a neat, neat piece. Two dollars, two dollars into a thousand. That is incredible. What an awesome piece of history. What do you guys think? What would you have done? What would you have done? Would you have taken the thousand? Would you have put it on auction? What would you have done? I think getting an offer that quickly for $900 definitely is would have put my radar up. So uh, yeah, but you know, you never know. Maybe a thousand dollars was what it was worth. And maybe it wasn't even worth a thousand dollars. And he, this person did fantastic. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts on this item. Oh my goodness. What a fabulous find. $2 at a garage sale into $1,000. That's just incredible. All right, you guys, um, go share your best May Bolo. It'll be a post that looks something like this, but it'll say best May Bolo. And you guys can shout out your stores. If you sell them, whatnot, shout that out. If you have a YouTube channel, you can shout that out. Um, don't put links for those things, but you can put a link for your sold and then just shout out the others and then I'll read it when I read your comment. Okay. Thank you to everybody that shared. Thank you to everybody that watches and supports the channel. Thank you all so much. Um, I hope to see you over on whatnot. I'm spending a lot of time over there, usually three to four shows a week. So it's a great, great time meeting lots of you in the chat and I appreciate you coming over. So I will see you guys soon and thanks for watching.